All right, it's Tucson here. We're going to be talking about my two cents on Octopath Traveler. And today we're going to be looking at the clerics and kind of giving them a good kind of ranking of where they're currently at uh, and just kind of give you some tidbits on their usefulness. Let's get into the video. All right, so first off, we got Millard here. He's currently our only five star unit. He's going to be a pretty decent healer. I think uh, people don't give him enough credit. Uh, he does have access to uh, being able to restore some of his SP when he's attacked through his passive, as well as just his heals are 20% stronger. He's going to get access to a uh, light AOE, just, you know, one hit. And he's going to have access to a staff hit that's a single target that will inflict a 15% attack down. So those are all kind of like nice little pieces here. I think the weakest part of his kit is going to be able to be shield breaking. He's just not built for that. Uh, everything's a times one. Uh, the kind of best piece about this is that at least the light attack is AOE. But as far as being able to heal, he has some front row heals. He also has a front row 15% uh, uh, magic defense up. So that'll be useful. Um, so that's kind of where you're going to be utilizing his kit is for for those things he doesn't get access to a region but it is only single target rather than uh the full front row so you're going to have to kind of uh, pick and choose there a little bit so there are some better options as far as like theo as far as being that whole front row heal and region uh but i do like his uh his you know his kit overall i think isn't uh isn't bad you just kind of have to work around and he might pair really well with somebody who's providing those regions for you all right moving on to our four stars into our a tier i have ramona who's kind of edged out everybody else in my opinion of the four stars and that's just because she's going to get access to these uh full front row heal and he's also going to have uh have access to that 15 percent magic defense up for the full front row and then while she's uh paired with somebody in the back row that ally is going to get regen as well. So if you're, you know, having trouble healing that person, obviously when they're paired with you, uh, they're at least grabbing some regen to be able to kind of keep themselves uh, up there. So we're also going to access to one times staff AOE and one times ice AOE, which you know you might find useful in uh, different fights there. So uh, uh, f you know, I've put Madeline here as second, and it's for you know completely different reasons. Rather than focusing on being able to heal, this is a little bit more attack oriented. We're going to get a full front row 50% magic up so if you're using some magic teams they're going to be useful for that uh, when using attack can restore some SP equal to 1% of damage done and then um, the piece I like here is we're gonna get a three times staff single target this is pretty rare for as far as staff users to be able to kind of uh, be utilized as a shield breaker so in those instances that you might need one we do have access to that uh, for single target and we have a one-time staff AOE as well all right now moving down to our B tier we have Minnow and Cedric the reason Minnow is up here is uh, we're gonna have a unit that's going to be very focused on providing some support for wind uh, you know wind attackers and being able to provide wind damage down to all enemies for the first three turns of battle that's gonna be up to 15% and then while in the back row uh, you can actually get some wind defense up in case you're facing some wind. So what I don't like about that is normally if you're you know facing something that has a weakness to wind, a lot of times they're not dealing wind damage. So uh, going to have two different kind of you know things to kind of fill there that don't work super well together. But uh, as far as skills go, we got an AOE 20% wind defense down as well, and then uh, being able to attack as a wind unit, you got two times random, which will also inflict a 10% speed down. We have a full front row heal and regen and we have a whole uh you know times one wind aoe uh, so i just like this unit and i think i like the idea that you can kind of pair it with maybe an arena unit that we have uh you know access to now if you're able to uh, pick up tiki lin who is going to be a wind warrior so these two might kind of pair uh, well together at least on the same team uh, to be able to take advantage of that kind of wind damage now, as far over here, as far as Cedric goes, we're going to be more back to our sort of, uh, you know, just focusing on full front row healing and regen and being able to provide um, some status ailments inflicted by Cedric and the ally get a plus one, uh, you know, turn duration. So it kind of can help with those different things. Uh, and it also gets a self um, damage up by 30% when attacking a bleeding enemy. And that might be the kind of usefulness for Cedric is a lot of the abilities here as a staff AOE that has a medium chance of inflicting bleeding for two turns. So we might be able to pair Cedric with some units that might benefit a little bit more from having that bleed on the unit uh, as well as benefiting from his, uh, himself from it. All right, and we're down to our favorite, our three star units, which we're just going to be kind of looking at just briefly here. Uh, uh, Telly, I put up here at the front because this is gonna be one of those units that has access to that extra 10% XP up when 
paired with an ally on our team. Uh, so I just value these units as uh, I think they're more practical use as you're uh, farming up your team. So you can pair Tilly and Mini, uh, uh, Mina and uh, use them to just kind of, you know, work with that on uh, leveling up your squads there. So uh, we, we're going to get some ice attack from her too, some two times ice single target and, and an ice AOE. Uh, so if you're needing to uh, utilize another ice unit or something like that, it is a possibility there. Um, as far as Pearl and Jose, uh, their passives are just going to be uh, buff oriented as far as 10% uh, magic up for Pearl and uh, fifth, uh, magic defense up for Jose. Uh, so you can kind of use that if you really want. Uh, pretty much all the three stars have some sort of this kind of pairing buff. And so you can kind of pick whoever you want from that that's going to be the most useful. Uh, these uh, two also do provide a little bit of healing, some uh, single target healing there. Uh, if you're looking for some you know, fire AOE and staff AOE, Pearl does have access to that. Uh, whereas Jose has the ability to um, lower the magic defense and raise a magic up for your uh, for your team. Uh, and so you can kind of, you know, decide from there which ones of these that you might find useful beyond just their kind of uh, generic leveling them up to 45 to get their um, uh, influence buffs. Anyway, let's take a look at who I'm most excited for in the future that I think is going to uh, really kind of change the scenery for our clerics. Before we get into that, I just want to remind everybody, if these videos are all helpful to you, please hit that subscribe button. It kind of lets me uh, know that you're enjoying the content and that you're wanting to see more of it. All right, and so of course, it's going to be Ophelia. You can just see here from the passive, we're going to start combat with an auto revive. That when KO, you can revive with 100% of max HP and SP. And then that we're going to get a buff, uh, you know, turn extension from the buffs that she's able to cast. And here's a look at her skills. And wow, we're going to access to three times staff single target. We've already kind of seen how that's kind of rare. Uh, we're going to have full, full front row region. We also see where that was kind of rare with our other clerics. Uh, it's also going to be able to... Uh, boost and clear all stat downs uh, on your unit. So that's gonna be, you know, super helpful. And then we have a whole front row heal that on top of it provides 50% defense and magic defense up. We have a four times light uh, random hitting. And so we're gonna have be, uh, the option of being able to be used as a shield breaker in between using our buffs and heals. We also have a self magic evade encounter. So, you know, obviously that's going to be useful. And then we can also put a revive on a KO'd ally. And even when it's cast on a non KO'd ally, ally it'll grant an auto revive for that uh, uh, ally. So it's just, wow, like this definitely going to be a unit that's going to be very powerful and very useful and uh, obviously very you know power creeping any of our current uh, clerics anyway i hope you guys are excited and that's been my two cents